Okay. Alright, my voice should not be echoing now. Yeah. Okay, good. And we'll continue. Alright, so we're back to a punch babe with a sword. Which will soon be punch exclusive. Oh. No, I don't want to. I was just thinking I wanna rip I wanna rip like um improve some of my weapons, but I do not yet want to do that. That is not something to do right now. I don't know if Chatterino is trolling me. It says I'm offline right now. Just one second. I need to make sure I'm actually online. Okay, it says I'm online. OBS says I'm online. Twitch says I'm online. That's good enough for me. Right here is that. Fuck. We'll go Lucerne for a little bit. Until we get to the Castus. Just because it means a little extra damage. There we go. Lucerne also makes it easy to hit those hanging body bags that are hanging from the ceiling. I need to stop spamming the attack button. The other thing about Lucerne is she's a little bit slower. She's kind of the anti Castus. Ooh, that was a much more delayed attack than I was expecting. You can tell I'm not used to fighting at that range. Okay, so to get to the Castus as quickly as possible, I want to go across the bridge through the farmhouse there. It's like a stable farmhouse type thing. We get to the bonfire. You can't see it from here, actually. For some reason, I thought I was looking at it, but we are not looking at it right now. But it is on the other side there. Loretta's bone. And I'm being followed. Good old iframes on the door opening animation. I have to also sit down. Okay, good. It let me sit down. I was a little bit worried about that. Alright, so... Where's my friend? Is he on the left? No, he's on the right. See, there's kind of a trade-off with the Lucerne, in that you can't parry as effectively. But 
when you're dealing with long, longer range weapons like this, you can't really parry effectively anyway, even if you have the option to. Because to parry, you need to be right up the enemy's faces. Which does not work as well when you're fighting at a slight, um, like, medium range. That was fun. Ah. Oh. See ya. Okay, so we're gonna kill some rats, and then we've got the Castus. Come on. All right, here we go. Punch Bay begins. Now, what have I got for equip load? Do I want to wear a little extra? Uh -oh. Okay, we'll wear a goofy hat. Just for a tiny bit of extra defense. mad if that killed me just now. That would have been a poor omen for the rest of this playthrough. I died to a rat as soon as I got my Castus. I'm taking off this hat, by the way. It's way too goofy. Crystal Lizard, I'm gonna sneak up on you. As long as this dude over here doesn't attack me. Okay, he's too far away. Oh, did the Crystal Lizard go away? Oh no, it's still there. There we go. Wait, did I get the shark gem from it? I did too, nice. I guess I've... I've done some shark builds. I guess it never really quite clicked for me that that particular crystal lizard dropped the shark gem. Alright, come at me, buddy. Come at me. Oof. That was greed. Oh. There we go. I need to be more careful with my attacks. That was, because that was the L. So, for anyone who's not familiar with using the Castus or other fist weapons in Dark Souls 3, this is basically a demonstration of how it works. You have your basic R1. As, so that's two R1s. One, two, one, two, one, two. Then you have an L1, which is a little different because, unlike most other attacks in the game, 
the L1 on the Castus is a double hit. So you do that. That's one L1 press. Two L1 presses is just the same thing again. But then you also have your R2, which is your heavy. And you can combo into each other, kind of reliably. If you press L1 first, it combos into your second R1. If you press L1, R1. Now that's how that works. And, of course, there's all the other moves that you would expect to have. Which is, you have your running R1, which you can do by running forward and pressing R1. And that combos into your second R1. No, that combos into your first R1, so you can do like a three hit combo if you start with a dash attack. And then there's also the back step attack. Back step R1 is just the same as the R1. Oh, yeah. When your second R, or sorry. I've been saying R1. I meant R2. Your backstep heavy attack is the same as just a heavy attack. But your second heavy attack turns into an uppercut. I don't think that makes a huge difference in hitbox shenanigans, but it's good to know about. Alright, so... Got 1600. I don't know if that's really enough to level up with. No, I mean, I do know it's enough to level up with, but kind of boring to go back every single time I need to get a. I was. I had enough to level up. Let's just have some fun. Last couple of times I attempted doing the fist build, I kind of practice on this dude here. Because he's not a great enemy to fight f fists only with. Or to fight close quarters with at all, either. So, he's good to practice on. So once you learn his moveset, you get a better idea of how the, a lot of the bigger guys work. Because we won't be done with that enemy type for a little while. So now... Got that. Yeah, let's level up. Wait, do I have any Titanite Shards yet? I have two tight night shards. Okay, so we'll improve our castus. Probably go back to the tutorial area and collect what we missed there. And decide what to do from there. Okay. Welcome home, speak very well. Then talk oh, to the doc. No, I need to talk I need to talk to Andre first. That is good, wasn't he? Reinforced weapon. But dum but dum. Need four tight night shards to improve it again. Okay, good to know. Yeah, if I go back to the first area, I might be able to get a Cleric's Chime as well. If 
I get a Cleric's Chime, then I might allot some of my Estus into Blue Estus. Because this only build is pretty handy in that you can gear towards just attack or defense, and you have the Poise ability, which I did not go over. So the Poise ability is your L2. It doesn't do any damage to enemies around you, but actually it might stagger them a little bit. I'm not sure. Let's try. No, it does not. What it does, it increases your poise so that you do not get staggered. Just for a brief period. Very brief. I wish it was a little bit longer. But it's basically an ability that is intended for if you have high physical defense. So you can just tank hits much more easily with it. Without staggering. And use that ability. And a lot, what a lot of people do is they will have Castus in their offhand to use that ability. Because Castus is also pretty popular as a parrying tool. But the funny thing is, you can't parry with it if it's in your right hand. Even if you're if you're two-handing it, like I am right now, there is no way to parry it. And what I have done in the past is have, like, a Demon Fist build. Which, in the Demon Fists, have almost a very similar moveset to the Castus. And also do not let you parry. But what I would do is have a Demon Fist and Castus. Use Castus in the offhand to parry. And... I try to make it a flexible sort of build so that you can two-hand the Castus in your left hand. Which is probably something that a lot of people probably don't realize, is that you can two-hand your left hand, your offhand weapon. And you can do that by holding on to the Y button or whichever button you're using to two-hand weapons. So you just press and hold the button instead of tapping it to two-hand your offhand weapon. For this particular build, it probably won't be something that I'll be doing much. I can do. That's right. Do I have raw? Yeah, I do have a raw. Maybe I should check to see if that's more powerful than my base attack. <laughs> Having a raw gem is actually pretty useful in the early game, but since I have bumped up my dexterity, I don't know if it's as useful as it would be otherwise. And my coffee's almost done. There we go. Got you. Got you. Ah, heck, we'll kill this guy too. Fading soul. He seems to drop fading souls pretty reliably. I wonder if that's a good way to farm them. Not that they're very useful items, but really game. Good to know about. 
there's probably much more effective ways to gather souls than farming that one dude. Oof. You do suffer from the range. You have to be careful when you're attacking close range. When he does his sonic roll, he still has a hitbox behind him too. Oh, I missed missed my opportunity. Done? No, not quite. Woo! That's close. He was like, had almost no health left. If I landed that, if I landed one more hit, I would have gotten him. I think I overestimated, overestimated my abilities there. One thing that a build like the Castus build would benefit from is if you had some way to speed up your attacks. Like, speed up your attack animations. Even, even if it still costs the same amount of stamina, being able to attack faster with the Castus would help a lot. Help make it more viable. Sonic roll. Ah. Okay, I'm I'm a little pissed off at this dude now. I shouldn't be having this much trouble fighting him. I was just thinking, once I kill that dude, then I'm probably going to stop for the night. But man, he wants me to keep going, doesn't he? I don't think that actually reduces the amount of damage that you receive. So it won't be as useful to me for the first little while. Especially not against this guy. It's because he does a lot of damage.
Yes, I got him. I had to merge into the ground to be able to do that, but... This is probably a hard fight to watch because I'm not recording at a very good frame rate. Or bit rate rather. Wait, that's a Titanite scale. I was thinking I got like just normal Titanite from him. I mean, I guess I can't complain too much. Titanite scale is still pretty good. Alright, so we've done it for the time being. I'm gonna call it quits here. But I'll probably be back online at some point or another to record and stream some more. If you're watching on YouTube, good for you. <laughs> you're probably the only people watching. I'll keep on streaming on Twitch though, so if you happen to see this in the year 2021, I might still be streaming there as well. But, you know, you can always subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more like this. But for the time being, this has been Wadham. Thank you for joining me. Take, take, take her easy.